still in zeners, we need to look at how a zener might act in a circuit. Let's see, grab a pen here. Voltage source. We have a resistance, I often call this RS. Um, for the resistance of the circuit, let's see, we have a zener diode and it goes to ground. Uh, grounds relative to Vs in this case. Uh, voltage drops across this Vs. If we KVL this circuit minus Vrs minus Vz should equal zero, which means that the voltage drop here and the voltage drop here equal the voltage drop here. So. Let's have a look at it. Um, how would you figure up current in this circuit? We have a device here that drops, the zener drops a certain amount of voltage no matter what current goes through it, so we can't use Ohm's law on it. So, no to Ohm's law. Um, we have this device that can we can use Ohm's law on. So let's do that. So IS is equal to Vs minus voltage of the zener divided by RS, and that should equal IS. If Vs increases, then what do you suppose happens to the voltage of the zener? The zener would stay the same. Um, let's look at this in a circuit now. We have a RS source resistance, well not necessarily but a series resistance with the uh, source and a zener here. We have a okay so current goes from the supply through RS through the zener and back to the supply. Um, if this is 10 volts, we have a 5 volt zener. Manufacturer stated 5 volt zener. This is 1k ohm. What is IS? IS would equal, if we were using this formula, um, have a look at it. 10 volts here, and if the zener drops 5 volts, then what's left for the 1k ohm? It's also 5 volts. So let's do it this way. Vs minus Vz over Rs. And that's equal to 10 volts minus the voltage of the zener, which is 5 volts over uh, 1k ohm. And Is is equal to 5 milliamps. If this power supply was a 10 to 20 volt supply, now this is the 10 volt, the 20 volt, uh, if we wanted to find IS on it when we've cranked the supply up to 20 volts, we have IS is equal to Vs minus Vz over RS. And that's equal to 20 volts. And what do you suppose the voltage of the zener is? Well, you're right, it's 5 volts over 1k ohm. And that's 15 volts over 1k ohm is equal to 15 milliamps. You'll notice the voltage on the zener didn't change much. If you wanted to figure out how much the change would be, then you would have to know what the bulk resistance of the zener would be. And if the bulk resistance, 
uh, taking a wild guess and saying it was uh, 8 ohms, um, then the difference in volt or the difference in current from here to here is 10 milliamps and 10 milliamps times 8 ohms is okay it's 80 millivolts should have guessed that one What if you needed to know the uh, amount of power dissipated by this? So uh, let's start at when the power supply is at 10 volts here, and the voltage across here, the RS is 5 volts, and the voltage across the zener, of course, is 5 volts. So power dissipated by the zener is equal to voltage of the zener times current through the zener. And when it was 10 volts, the current through the zener was 5 milliamps, this here. Uh, so the voltage 5 volts times uh, 5 milliamps is equal to uh, 25 milliwatts. Uh, power dissipated by the zener when voltage of the zener is 5 volts. And let's look at it when we're at 15 milliamps here. And times current through the zener is equal to 5 volts times 15 milliamps is equal to 75 milliwatts. A The data sheets for this subject have a maximum power dissipated. They also have a maximum current through the zener uh, also listed. And um, they should fairly well line up with each other.